Welcome back to a special episode of Mr. Iron Bar. I say special because it has taken collectively over a year of grinding to achieve this goal of mine. This grind is the beaver pet. Normally it is nothing too crazy to go for, but Jagex really made me go through an Olympian grind. We start off this grind at a whopping 70 mil woodcutter kind of XP, which is three times dry already for this pet at Redwoods. I figured it'd be inevitable that I would get this pet over the years passively, but apparently that is not true. So it is time to step up the challenge with the release of Forestry. Forestry motivated me as they added three new transmog items to the beaver pet, making the beaver pet one of the most customizable pets in the entire game. The funky shaped log allows the beaver to transform into different themes based on the log used. The golden peasant egg turns the beaver into the peasant, and the fox whistle turns it into a fox, my personal favorite. Forestry involves cutting trees with groups of people, so there's still a chance to get the beaver pet this way. Keep in mind, the early days of Forestry are different in terms of how the events worked, as it's changed a lot over time, so you'll get to see a bit of the early history. I'm also keen on green logging Forestry, as the cosmetic items are the rarest ones anyways. Some other useful items are the log basket, which holds 28 logs, which is the item that I'll be going for first which will make the forestry and pet hunting a lot easier. And there's some other cool items too, like the Twitcher gloves. These other stuff, as you can see, you get it while doing the events, right? And you can store in the forestry kit. So the forestry kit's 120 GP, so it's effectively free. But uh, yeah, everything else you will have to buy with anima, infused barks, some other things like logs to get these rewards. All right, let's go ahead and buy the forestry kit. Oh, I guess you can just have multiple wow okay guys so we have a problem <laughs> they essentially made it not work in the woodcutting guild anymore which is kind of whack because it's the woodcutting guild oh my god there's so many people <laughs> forestry is effectively a woodcutting mini game that can happen just about anywhere there's trees and as long as you're cutting it with more than one person there's a chance to trigger a forestry event and if you participate in the events, you will get at least Anima Barks, which you can use to buy the rewards, and also additional Wukun XP. So if you do the events on top of normal Wukun, you will get more Wukun XP. And that's Forestry in a nutshell. So we got to do a lot of these events so that we can get Anima Barks to get all the rewards that we need. Additionally, some of the events can give you a rare item, such as the Fox Poacher event. So by saving the fox, you have a chance to get the whistle, which will turn Beaver into the fox. One of the things that we'll be going for. I think that's all I do. Like, look at that. Look at that. See? You have receive an animal bark for every time I do this. Nice. Okay, we just keep doing this. And uh, yeah, we get points. So we're going to sort the population by most number of people. And just... Holy shit, there's a lot of people. Um, we're just going to hop around these worlds. And... Do what we can you know do all the events i'm glad they i guess found ways to make it so that group wood cutting is actually realistic because before obviously you know if another person's cutting your tree you would get annoyed because they would actually make the tree die quicker let me check how long would this take get the log basket oh five thousand okay we got a new event boys uh there is these tree roots that we just got to clear up i've heard cutting these Roots are probably the best points though. It makes sense because you just literally sit there and you just AFK just like cutting a regular tree. So <laughs> yeah, you definitely just want to find two that you can just keep using on each other until they bloom. Whoa, look at this one. Yo guys, look at this one. This one is crazy. You want to look for that, that one. Yeah, the bigger ones or like the crazy looking ones give you the most points. Damn, I'm already at a thousand. Yeah, look for those logs, man. Those roots are so good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if those get nerfed at some point, but damn, those are good. Okay, so the order matters a lot. Damn, sometimes they're just so far away, so I just... We just do the next best thing, I guess. I'm getting 113 XP drop from this, so... Alright, is this enough? Please tell me. Oh! no way i was dude seven off no way okay anything will do i'll, I'll even do flowers man frick it did i gain enough <gasps> oh my god i just made it i literally cheesed it i can't i came in for like two seconds and i got it let's go 
Okay, yeah, this is definitely the one. Let me just see if I have uh, the logs to actually make this. I do plan on eventually probably buying everything out. It would be nice to be able to combine this with the forestry kit. So then I uh, save some inventory space and then eventually I would get this thingy, the clothes pouch too. Because then you could combine the lumberjack in there too as well with the forestry kit. So that'd be pretty cool. It would uh, just make things more convenient in the long run and game points isn't too bad. All right, let's get this log brace. There you go. And what do I need to do this? Adamant. Oh, there you go. Easy to make once you get it. This super cool backpack. Forestry basket. Nice, nice. Because they nerfed hopping around for points. Now people are just hanging out in the forestry world. So basically, I'm just going to go to the forestry world. Yo, there's so many people here. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the play, guys. I don't think these trees is ever gonna run out so yeah here we go we're just gonna fk here and should get the rest of the points for the blueprint the events are already here look at that i just literally got here guys so we have everything that we need to buy this blueprint so let's go ahead and buy it yes crafts clothes pouch how to use this leather tread and a clothes pouch blueprint how do i do this ah there we go clothes pouch and then I add it. You expand your forestry kit basket to the whole lumberjack outfit. Yo, that's so sick. Dismantle, open, close. Oh, no, we don't We don't need to mess with this. I'm just going to assume that I can just wear this with the lumberjack stuff while doing clue scrolls. And this should still work for some of the master steps. So that's really cool. I will be uh, safe to just wear this the whole time. But uh, we might want to, you know, rock some... Different fashion escape from now on, I guess. Okay, we're done with forestry for the most part until maybe part two. So they change the way trees uh, despawn and respawn. The redwoods will last four and a half minutes. Yeah, four and a half minutes from the moment I start cutting. Essentially, the wood cutting rates will definitely have gone up across the board. I'm getting 72k. Screw it, we're going to basically afk the crap out of magic trees and go ahead and get these for the collection lock as might as well this is pretty disappointing unfortunately um, the uh, clothes pouch a blueprint and the law brace apparently they're tradable so they don't get retroactively put in the collection log i would have to get it again damn that's only a hundred oh jesus <laughs> i think it's fair to say the animal infused spark definitely it's not as fast as it used to be. Honestly, man, if you're gonna do some of these forestry stuff, highly recommend making some of these NPCs not interactable, as in, like, using, uh, shift, left click to change it so that it's, like, walk. Like this bunny, for example, as you can see. I made it so that the main thing is walk. So that way, I don't actually attack it. Same with this guy, so I don't actually, uh, start talking to him. Oh my gosh. Oh, damn, look at that. I used one B on a stake for the event, and I got 192 anima infused bark. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely going to profit off of this because I only used 250 to make this. And I'm getting, uh, looks like at least like 100 more per game. So uh, you get points for just doing the sub events, and you get double that. So yeah, it's easily over four times probably. All right, guys, we have gone a third of the way there basically holy shit guys look at look at this look at this Twenty-one thousand already jeez so for this forestry event positioning is really really important because right now the combo is bark and mushroom and green leaves but the problem is leaves are so far away so it's not even worth it and look at what happens if i pick it up like this right i do bark and two mushrooms like look at how slow it is versus me just standing right under the mushroom and then just doing this quick update guys we're over 30k anima okay just uh like 2k more or something and we green log forestry for the moment because part two is gonna come out i think pretty soon and there's gonna be more stuff on this log i think oh shoot oh shoot i didn't even realize look 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 33,000, and i used 34 piece on a stick i started slacking a lot though honestly halfway in all right so i have pretty much all these logs except the oaks and the willows, I need to cut a lot of, I guess. Funky shape logged, anything. Oh my god, what the hell? 
Dang. Uh, oh, I thought I was ready to go with the points, but I, I guess not. I just need to cut like an insane amount of willows. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I can't really be using Inferno Axe to collect the logs because it will burn like 25% of them or something. Alright, nice. We got a thousand willow logs now. Alright guys, I think we have enough. I will always forever have some of these logs in my bank. Just in case, because I know part two is coming out, so I probably need to buy more stuff for part two. Alright, hopefully this works, guys. So for the four street boots, we're going to buy one. And then it'll change my lumberjack. Oh, there it is. The first slot, four street boots. Okay, we now get the hats. Very nice. Then the legs and then the top. Now we have the uh, gnome chow forestry uh, kit. I mean, we're cutting set up now. It does the same exact thing as lumberjack. Just just a different look. All right. So we need to get the brace and the blueprint and the funky shape block. So all right, here we go. The brace. There you go. And the blueprint. There we go and the funky shape log yes i got everything look at that yo easy look at that sad part is i can't do much with this or, or this i can sell it though i guess uh the funky shape log though that's for the peaver but look at this 77 mil booking no peaver in sight all right boys you see the system update here well that's actually for forestry part two and there's so many new items oh wait i just went through the update page and it looks like there's gonna be one two three four five six items to get on the collection line oh i got something i don't i guess that's used to make like clothing or something yeah i think we're just gonna have to keep collecting these yo i got i got the new stuff already uh petal garland holy shit dude we're getting a lot of godics after forestry part two that's actually crazy oh i can sell it oh look at that oh 25 will logs nice collection log which i have next for like an increased chance oh that's so sick all right guys i looked at all the forestry part two stuff these peasant stuff you just need to get peasants tails and just craft them with a needle and a tread easy uh, this one i just need animal points and same with this one animal points and some uh, logs in order to go for the golden egg and the fox whistle i have to do the respective events with the correct tools nowadays these tools don't exist and you can just get the rewards by just doing the event without it this is so expensive it should be similar to like the bees on a stick that i was using which was really worth it i got a lot more points you know what the funny thing is you can buy these right in the ge because people can sell them and apparently, making these spoons here with the egg cushion gives you mining XP. That makes no sense because you're chiseling. It probably should be craft XP. But I've seen people uh, get 65k mining XP an hour. And it's pretty AFK because you just keep using limestone on the pad. Alright, let's create this trap thing here. Wow, the blueprint only makes 10. Oh, man. Uh, the forestry stuff, man. Honestly, I thought it was supposed to be a bit more simple, but they they honestly just kind of overdid it. We have all the stuff now in the forestry kit. We have the disarmor and the padded spoon. 200 of these peasant tail feathers, so I should be able to just create this outfit, all four pieces, which will give me four slots, like super, super fast. So let's freaking do it. Yeah, very free slots. What we're looking like here no surely there's a body there isn't yo 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 look at this look at this i just got 80 mil wood cutting and i still don't have the beaver pet and i'm getting the freaking transmogs for the beaver pet so maybe i can just streak all of it together by the time i finish the transmogs that'd be sick so we're gonna go ahead and just buy this here we go Ten thousand anima and that should be the last slot Oh, actually, I don't have this either. Uh, how much is this? How much is cape pouch? Oh, that's it? Now we're good. Now we're good. Look at that. Only two things left is the freaking transmogs. But yeah, they're so seemingly rare, man. 
Um, I'm just going to combine this with a regular dragon axe. So this effectively is just... So you can use this felling axe on an axe to turn it into the felling axe version, which lets you chop trees at a 10% bonus with cutting XP per log. And there's a 20% chance that if you were to get a log, you actually don't get it. So it makes wood cutting a bit more AFK. Not as AFK as the Infernal Axe, but definitely more XP per hour for wood cutting. That is very lame. The Felon Axe doesn't work in the stash unit. Oh well. I finally got it. Oh my god. Yo, there's hope. Oh, okay. So you can get it mid game. Alright, guys. So I made 70 padded spoons. It took about 40 events. I did slack off on some of it, but I was very active and really trying to trade those eggs. I mean, or give those eggs to the freaky forcers a good amount of time. So it was fairly efficient. Oh my god, look at what these people are doing. I can't entity hide or these cows, <laughs> but I think I guess I'll just do this. <laughs> Bro, Jagger's got to stop trolling. They added another thing to the collection lot, sturdy beehive parts, but... This one is from the Beehive event, and luckily, it's not super rare like the transmogs. Well, well, we have gone through another dragon uh, axe. Probably at least, I want to say two since Forestry came out. This will be number three. Oh, wow, that was so easy. Dang, sturdy bee part. That, that was literally just two attempts. Honestly, I got a bit of free time right now, so I am just using the Forestry CC Scout for Foxes. Because that's all I need, right? So, yeah, it's so much faster. If we're going to use the Forestry CC a bit, <laughs> we need to buy more of these. Ah, yo, dude. Oh my god. I literally lost the game. Oh, I got it! Ooh, let's go! Where's the goddamn whistle, though? Um, uh, I can't find it. Hold on. If I do this... Ah, oh, there we go. Yo, we are done. We are done. All right, shout Force 3CC. For real, though, for uh, speeding this up. Because look, look at how many um traps I disabled. <laughs> In like... I want to say two hours, three hours... Something like that, like 200 plus. Uh, it was uh, almost non-stop, but this is during like hype, you know, hype week, hype month. So it might slow down, but look at it. Okay, we are green. I, I can't believe we green log this same tab twice. We do not have the pet at 82 mil almost, so. I got the 10th one. Um, There it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, we can make this beehive in the house. Beehive style two. I guess I'll make this one. So I was curious, so I checked my collection log on Dagonoth Kings to see how many kills I've done for the bosses. And in total, it is 12,653. So the collection log only really showed up like probably halfway into my KC lifetime here. So it says 46. But on average, Dragon Axe is 1 in 128. And 12,600 divided by that number is 98.8. So let's just say 98. And how many Dragon Axes do I have remaining? All right, well, we have approximately 78 because this counts too. And I also have one, I think, in uh, the clue store. So I have like 80. So my lifetime DX use burned with the Inferno Axe is 18. So I wonder how many Dragon Axes more I'm going to end up using on the way. Let's find out. Let's see what this goes down to. Yo, OMG, look at this guy's fox, man. That is pretty sick. All right, another axe has been used up on the Inferno Axe, so let's add another one. And we're now at almost 93 mobile cutting. God damn it. Unfortunately, I did not get the pet while going for the beaver pet transmogs and green logging forestry, so it is time to head back to good old Redwoods. There's definitely more efficient methods for this pet, but I prefer the AFK method as it's something I can do while I do some editing or I take a break from some intense PVM stuff. Another big reason is that Redwoods get frequent clue nests, so I can do a bunch of clues that I get and work towards my next attacking project, which will be a video coming up. 
My next stacking project is going to be 200 easy, medium, and hard caskets. So grinding beaver through redwoods will help a lot. Oh shit, it's almost happening. Oh, what? It happened. When? Ah, I reached 100. Oh, right there. Holy shit. I even set a tracker. Ha! <laughs> I missed it by so much XP. Oh boy, guys. Wow, I can't believe it. The Twitcher Gloves also came out with part two. Unfortunately, though, originally the Twitcher Gloves suck because they degrade, but they shortly after buffed it so that it doesn't degrade. And also the boost on the Twitcher Glove is stronger. For example, the clue rate increase is now 20% instead of like the previous 10%. So yeah, I definitely got myself some Twitcher Gloves while woodcutting for the stacking project. It's going to help a lot. Hey, 105 mil woodcutting and still no freaking <laughs> woodcutting pet. Oh, well. Oh, shit. 110 mil woodcutting and no pet. Awesome. Awesome. Another one. Oh, all these extra feathers. I can sell them. There you go. I got 5,000. But the front axe is out. So we got to add another one. And look at my woodcutting speed. 116 million. We got 120 mil woodcutting. Oh, no way. Yep, still no pet. So I'm going to set this goal up for uh, a new one. We're going to set to current XP to, you're going to guess it, 130 mil. Yep, 122 mil woodcutting. So I hit 130 mil woodcutting. And now I've set the woodcutting tracker to the next 10 mil. Yeah, that's crazy. Another Inferno Axe degraded at 133.9 mil or so. Actually going down. Holy shit, I was at like 80 something. Now I'm at 71. Well, I just got 135 mil woodcutting. We just got 30 mil fire making thanks to the Inferno Axe doing its thing. Oh, there it is. 140 mil. God damn. <laughs> On to the next 150 mil, guys. All right, another dragon axe consumed. You got beaver. Oh, I did. Oh my god, Ashy fucking did. Yo, we actually got this goddamn beaver, boys. Holy shit, almost 150 mil uh, woodcutting. 149 mil woodcutting, dude. It's like the end of uh, years of woodcutting right there. God damn. We've been saving this for a very long time. Oh, let me let me say thanks to the boys. Yeah, I've been waiting to use these three items from forestry on on this thing because we completed forestry So yeah, we have these three cosmetics that can turn the beaver Into uh, the peasant right there pretty sick and then we also have this Funky shaped log. Yes, there you go Yes, and now we have more uh, transmogs. There we go. See we can do this and this we can give it some logs, right? Oh, damn, look at that. It turns into different kinds of uh, colors. Use a bunch of different logs on it. Nice. Mm, I'm not sure which one's my favorite, man. I, I really don't know color-wise. But my favorite one by far is this. It's definitely going to be a... Uh, this. I don't know how if he returns to a fox. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite one, though. Probably, theoretically, the driest pet I've ever uh, gone for. Uh, if you guys are wondering how many dragon axes I got left, we still have a bunch of dragon axes. But yeah, we basically stopped at 69 by the end. 150 mil wood cutting. So you might be wondering, why am I still here? Even though I got the pet. Uh, I'm probably just going to keep wood cutting because it's so chill and I can continue working on my stacking project. So we're, we're getting close. 150 easy medium hearts right now, so maybe 50 more and uh, I'll get myself out of here. Oh, no fucking way. No fucking way, bro. Look at this shit. I, I just got another woodcutting pet. You have a funny feeling you would have been followed. Mother trucker, I got my first one at 149 mil woodcutting XP and I got another one at 151 mil, dude.